Tell me about how you feel about ECT from your own experiences. I think it's unforgivable. Absolutely. I, I, I still... Memories come back to me from my youth. I, I've forgotten... I had ECT nearly 30 years ago. And it's still affecting me. In what way is it still affecting you? My memory losses. Memory loss. Right. And it doesn't... It, some of the things come back. I don't know what's missing. You really don't know. It's, it's just that you, when you wake up after ECT, you don't know where you are, who you are. Um, I got into more trouble with having ECT than ever before. How was that? I, I was really angry that I had to have it. Um, and, um, and it really got to me. How many courses did you have? Two. Six, six at a time. Six at a time. So you had 12, 12 courses. I was spread over about um, four months, five months. Right. It's just, I can't, I, I'm not articulate enough to explain how awful it is. It, it really is, James. You wake up, you don't know who you are. No, it's just, then they leave you to go home on your own. What do you think when you hear people say that it's effective? I, I, I think most of the people I do that said it was effective say it's effective so that they won't have to have any more. So their doctor will believe them and they're getting better. But in fact, what they really mean is that the thought of having more ECTs just horrifies them. Right, so they'll say anything to make sure they don't have to have any more? Any, I would. Yeah. I would. Right. Some people say it's a form of torture. What do you think? I think it is. In what way? You, you, you lie on a table, you put a gag in your mouth, um, give it a side pen down, so it sucks on the so you stop the muscle. I don't know, it, it is just awful. I'm, I'm not articulate enough to explain it yet, James. Mm. <clears throat> but I think it should be banned. I really do. Because so many really reasonable doctors think it's good because they read these reports in which the doctor says, oh, I've got eight patients or ten patients. After ECT, they all say they're much better. They do say they're much better because they're absolutely petrified at the thought of having to have more ECT. Right. So they just say anything they can to not have yes. any more. Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, what sort of impact has it had on you, the, the, the gaps in your memory, ever since you've had the ECT? Um, I can remember most of it by younger days. It cut out a lot of things that happened in Australia. You know, um, it's just you know, blank spots in, my, in your head, you know, you know there's something happened, but, but... You don't know what? You don't know what. And what's it like having those blank spots? I think it's un unbearable myself, you know. Mm. I mean, I, I, it, it, I speak to people having ECT and they, and they all say, I've not met one person who's having ECT who said, I feel much better because of it. Right. They say that to their doctor so they can stop their ECT. Right. What would you say to anybody considering undergoing ECT? Oh, I would absolutely be opposed to it. I would do anything to stop them having it. I'd tell them what it did to me. And, you know, I got more aggro, aggro well, after I was getting it than I was before. Do you feel that you've recovered from it in the years since then? No. Right. It's so still affecting me. So it feels like a permanent change that's yes. created. Oh, it has. Yeah. It has. Yeah. It, it's, it's, it's not... Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't. Do you feel like it had any positive impact on your depression or on your mood? None. None? None. None at all. Right. Um, Why do you think they persevered with it for, you know, you had it 12 times when you weren't getting better from it. Why did they persevere? Oh, because the psychiatrist told the magistrate that 
I was doing really well. Right. So he just extended it. He said, oh, another six. What do you think was motivating the psychiatrist to say that? Money. He sued the GIO for an enormous amount of money and got it. Mm -hmm. So he was suing them for the treatment, the ECT treatments that he provided to you? Yeah, yes. Mm. He, 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 um, Any idea how much money he got for that? Well, we went to court for $180,000. 180000 That's what the psychiatrist got? That's what he, that's what he sued the GIO for. Yeah. And, um, well, that's what he got, and, and ongoing, except I never went back. Right. So that was $180,000 for 12 courses of ECT. Oh, it's, uh, about, over a year it was. Yeah. But it was the 12th courses of court with him. Over know, the year, yeah, yeah. What would you say to any doctors or psychiatrists that want to have their patients undergo ECT? I don't know how I would say to them. I can't, I, I just don't believe anybody. It's, it's archaic. You know, it's, it's, that awful feeling afterwards, it's dreadful. Mm -hmm. I, in my opinion. Yeah, well, that's your experience. Yes, it's my experience. Yeah, yeah. Which happens to coincide with a lot of other people's experiences yeah. as well. I've not met anybody that's had ECT that said it's been good. Mm -hmm. I've met a lot of people since. Right. Do you think it should be banned? Yes. It really should be banned. Mm. But <coughs> you have an anaesthetic for it. Um, all these things are dangerous. I mean, no, it's not very dangerous having a very light anaesthetic, but it's one you don't need. Yeah. All right. Thank you, John. I appreciate your time in oh. telling us of your experiences. I, I hope it stops. If it stops one person, it would be worthwhile. Yeah. It okay. really would. All right. Thanks, John.